Today's tutorial is gonna show you how to add a pocket into a piece of fabric. My example today is a pet bandana. If you're looking for a bandana pattern, I will leave a link to that in the description of this tutorial, but this is just for the pocket portion alone. And you can really do this on any project. I'm just happen to be working on a dog bandana. My zipper that I have available to me is actually a 12 inch zipper. And I'm not gonna need that full length, so I will show you how I'm gonna modify that to make it to work for what I need. So I have my zipper and I already measured. I decided I wanted it to be about six inches across of an opening. And when you're working with a zipper, you want your inside pocket portion to be a little bit wider by about two inches. So I cut my pocket piece, this is eight inches across this way. So I have an eight inch pocket there and I'm gonna approximately have it centered this way and this is gonna end up being folded in half here. And you can see, depending on where I place this, if I make it too wide or too long, the corners might pop out over the end. So I went ahead and I measured and I figured I wanted it to be about four inches um, deep from where I'm going to start it. That way I'm, I'm clear from the, the seam allowance down here. So my square ended up being eight inches by eight inches. And then I have a lightweight fusible interfacing here that I'm going to apply to the back side of this pocket. So we're going to do that now. Let me get my right supplies here. I have a pressing mat and I have my iron. I want you to apply this per your package instructions. Um, on mine, I can feel there's a little bit of a rougher bumps here. That's the part that's gonna fuse to my fabric. I'm gonna have those, those bumps facing up because I'm gonna put my fabric then right side facing up, wrong side towards that interfacing. I'm just gonna make sure it's completely covered so I don't see any of that interfacing peeking past those edges. And then I'm just going to use my iron and secure that so that it stays next to that wrong side of my pocket piece. So I'll press this now. All right, so now I have that interfacing fused onto the back side of my pocket. I kind of want to know where my centerpiece is, so when I attach it to this, I have it centered. So I'm just going to make a seam. Again, my, mine is eight by eight, so it really doesn't matter which way I fold it. I just want my center crease here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same then for my bandana piece. I'm going to make a crease on that center line of my bandana, just for, just for centering it. It's the easiest way to do it. All right, so I have that marked center, and then I have my pocket piece centered now too. So I can see I'm gonna start it with right here. But before we do that, we need to get ready. Let me find my pencil. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we're going to measure, let's see here. We're gonna go about an inch down from the top here. I'm just going to use my ruler, make a marking right there. Make another marking right here. And I'm gonna just draw a line across that whole top of my pocket. Okay, then it looks a little crooked, but uh, yeah, we'll work with it. Um, and then I'm going to measure 3 eighths of an inch down from that line. Using my ruler, I'm gonna count one, two, three, make a little mark. I'm gonna do the same in the center one, two, three eighths of an inch, and then the same on this far side, one, two, three eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to draw a line to connect those three points, and that'll give me these lines here, three eighths of an inch apart. And then I'm going to, I said I wanted my pocket to be six inches, so I'm going to mark that now with my ruler. I'm gonna put my three inch mark right on that center, and that way, here's that edge, and then this is that six inch mark. That's where my zipper is gonna be placed, right there. Okay, before we do that, I want you to draw a line in the center of this little rectangle. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball it. If you wanna use your ruler to get exactly precise, you go for that. But I'm just gonna go like this, draw a line to mark the center, 
And then when we cut this through, um, these corner ends are gonna just kind of pop out that way. And so the best way to do that is I'm going to now measure 3 eighths of an inch from each of these edges going inwards. So one, two, three eighths of an inch. And then from that mark that I just made, I'm going to draw a line to connect to the corner of the rectangle. I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in a minute, but I'm gonna do the same then for this edge here. That ruler's kind of marked off. So one, two, three eighths of an inch. Make my triangle shape. And I'll show you what that looks like. So that's kind of the placement of where our zipper is going to be. But for right now, we're not gonna quite attach that. I'll show you what we're gonna do first. Now we're going to get ready to apply this to our bandana. So I've got my bandana center right here. And now I gotta determine where I'm gonna want this placed. And remember, this is gonna be folded in half. So for right now, I'm just going to make sure I have those bottom edges cleared of my seam allowance and I'm gonna line up my center markings. Remember that crease we made? There, so now you can kind of see, this is the bandana, how it's gonna look. We're gonna sew this together. There's gonna be a little bit of a seam allowance. I might even wanna go up a little higher than what I have it. I'm gonna go like right there. So now we're gonna get some pins and we're gonna just pin this together here for a moment, okay? So I'll just take two pins just to anchor it and make sure I have it nice and centered across there and even across there. I don't want my zipper to be crooked. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to sew around the perimeter of this outer edge of the rectangle that we made, okay? So we'll start here. We'll do this top line. When we get to this corner point here, you'll keep your needle down, pivot the fabric. So lift your presser foot up, pivot it. Sew down here, pivot this bottom line, pivot here and end here. So you're just sewing around that exterior perimeter of the rectangle. So we'll do that now. So when I get to that corner, I'm going to leave my pin, or my, I'm sorry, my needle down into the fabric, lift my presser foot up, pivot this fabric this way, and then resume sewing to that bottom edge. And then we're going to pivot again and do that around the entire um, edge of that perimeter of that rectangle. All right, so you can see we have that whole perimeter sewn through and it shows through on the back of that bandana part as well. Next you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut along the center marking line that I eyeballed there. And I'm going to cut starting at this point of this triangle all the way over to the point of this triangle. And when I get to the triangle, I'm going to then follow that angle to each of the corners. Let me show you how. To start that, I always just kind of fold it in half back on itself like that just to get this started. And I take my scissors and I just do a little bit of a snip like this. I think I got dust on my scissors, sorry about that. Um, so I started that little snip there and then I open it back up again. And then I sneak my scissors through that little hole that I made and now I follow that line and I cut all the way then to the tip of that triangle. And then this next part is very important. We cut very close to this corner here, but we don't want to accidentally cut that seam. Get as close to that seam as possible without cutting it, okay? If you get too far away, it's gonna look goofy when we finish the zipper here. So you can see I got real close to that corner, and I'm gonna repeat on this, this bottom one here as well. I'm going to the corner of that seam, but I'm not cutting the seam. So you can see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna flip this around and go to the other side. Follow the center seam. I'm cutting through the pocket portion and that bandana portion. Cutting to the tip of that triangle. And then I'm going to follow the angle of the triangle to that corner without cutting that seam. And almost done here. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to fold, I have this, again, the, top, the right side of the bandana facing up, fold this top edge of the pocket portion down so that the seam is, so that fold is against kind of where that seam is. Take your iron and just press that downwards. And then um, I'm gonna have you just pin, let's see here, let's flip it over first. So we now see the back and I have that, make sure that that's folded down where we just pressed. And I'm going to pin this down like here 
And what we're going to do is it's called an understitch. We're going to stitch against this raw edge here to secure that against this folded piece here. Um, you can do a straight stitch right against, kind of right in between where the edge of the fabric is and where that straight seam is from before. If you want to do a zigzag stitch, that's perfectly fine. We're going to start right, kind of right where that tip of that triangle was right here, and then go all the way down, ending to where that tip of that triangle piece was here on the other side. So we'll go do that now. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just place this under my presser foot here, and I'm going to just double check to make sure that that is indeed folded down like we wanted it to be, and it is. I put a purple bobbin in, purple thread bobbin in, and I switched my machine to a zigzag stitch. I'm going to make sure this triangle piece is out of the way, and I'm going to start right at that tip of that triangle, and I'm going to just move this bottom section out of the way because I don't want to accidentally get that caught up in here. I want to keep that separate. And so we will get started here with a zigzag stitch. And then I'm ending right at that tip of that triangle piece. I'll go ahead and cut the thread off there. And you can see then, that's what it looks like. And on the underside, I had a purple bobbin, but my top thread was white, kind of, kind of showed through a little bit, but that's what that's gonna look like. Now we'll repeat that with the other side of the pocket. I'll show you how next. So I have that one zigzag stitch that way. Now we're going to do this lower edge of the pocket and we're gonna just do kind of the same steps. This time we're gonna fold it up on itself like this against that sewn seam. I'll use my iron and just press that so to make sure it's against that fold. And again, I prefer to sew from this side so I can see exactly and make sure I catch that, that raw edge of the pocket here. And so again, we're going to start at the tip of the triangle, zigzag stitch down to this tip of that triangle. We'll do that next. I'm gonna just pin mine in place so that I know I have it folded when I get it to the machine. And we'll sew that part next. I can kind of show you up close where what we're looking at. All right, so I'm gonna just guide this underneath my presser foot. And you can see I'm keeping this one. This is what we already sewed, I have that out of the way. And I'm going to start at the tip of that triangle and zigzag stitch down to the lower section. And again, I'm stopping right at that tip of that triangle. The thread now, and you can see then that triangle piece is loose. That's right how I want it to be. And as is here, okay. All right, so now we're ready to tuck the pocket in to that hole. So you're going to tuck everything in through that opening so it's on the back side of your fabric piece. All right, now I want you to, we're going to then press this opening again with our iron. And so I'll start with the top edge and I'm going to fold it back on itself right over that seam, kind of like that. I don't know if you can see that very well just right against that edge so that seam is gonna be flush with where that fold is. So starting at the top, I'm gonna to get my iron out here in a minute, fold against there, and press with an iron. All right, so that top part is ready. Now we're gonna do the same with the bottom edge. Have the folded edge be right against the edge. So you're kind of folding the fabric back on itself. All right, and then those triangle corner pieces are going to then, you can see they're kind of in between here, they get pulled out to the side there. And this is where if you don't, if you didn't trim those close to that corner edge, it's not gonna lay flat and it's gonna look really wonky. So just, um, you can go back in and trim it more if you need to. Mine turned out okay here. I'm just gonna press those so they're flat. And now we're ready to sew the zipper to this section here. So now when we do the zipper, you can see, like I mentioned earlier, my zipper that I have on hand is way longer than what I need it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have, when I apply this here, I just wanna get the right length going here. I'm gonna have my zipper stop be just inside there. And then I'm gonna have my zipper head be, it's going to end up being, I'm just gonna kind of make a marking where I want it to be. This will end right about here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pin this together right here. And I'm gonna take the zipper to my machine and I'm going to just 
tack it together right by this pin here to keep it close. And I'm gonna cut it there because that'll be kind of the beginning of my zipper. Um, so we'll do that now. So here is where I have that pin and I wanted it to tack it just to the right side of there. So I'm gonna just put this under my machine right here and I'm going to just sew back and forth on there and reverse it here once I get past those zipper teeth. This is a plastic zipper. If I had a metal teeth, I wouldn't be able to do this on my machine or I might bust a needle. I'm still in zigzag stitch, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Just to tack that together. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see that kind of holds those teeth together. And so what I'm gonna do now then is I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off this end here because I don't need that anymore. All right, we will go and bring that back to the project. So now I have my zipper ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift this up, place my zipper, and then center this over there so the window that we just created is centered over that zipper. So make sure it's nice and centered. And then you can go ahead and pin this in place so that when we sew it, it stays centered in that opening because it wouldn't be good to have it be mostly, show, you know, way up like this or whatnot. You want to have it nice and centered. And this is a little tricky sometimes because the you're having three pieces of fabric and it's hard to catch them all with one pinning. And so I'm doing my best here. I'm going to redo this one. There we go. And then, so I'm going to do two kind of in the inner there and then I'm going to do my edges here. And I'll show you here close up once I have this pinned how I want it. Okay, so I have it pinned centered in that window. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to sew around the perimeter of this rectangle again, kind of like we did in the beginning, but we're gonna be, I would say as close as you can to the edge of this fold is where you wanna to be to the zipper. If you have a zipper presser foot, you're gonna be able to get a lot closer. If you don't have a zipper presser foot, get as close as your machine allows you to. When I brought it to my machine, I ended up tweaking my pinning pins and I had them, before I had them facing down and going through both sections, but I switched them and I pinned it on each edge. Um, you can kind of see how I, I just changed the way the directions of the, the pins were going. So again, before I had it in here and then down this way, but I found it's a little easier if you go in and then you just kind of hold it that way. So I have pins in both directions. It's going to take a little bit more manipulation when I'm sewing here next, but um, it's going to allow me to secure that fabric exactly how I want it. So let's get started. I actually don't have a zipper presser foot here at the shop with me today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my needle way far over to the left. Let's see here, so I can get as close to that zipper as possible with my normal presser foot. And then what we're gonna do, again, is just for sewing around the whole perimeter. And I'm going to just get started with a stretch stitch. And so now that I am near this edge, this, this head of the zipper is tough to sew around. So I'm actually gonna just unzip this. And so I don't even have to go around it with my presser foot because I'm already past it now. So that just makes that easier. When I get to the corner, I'm going to move it just like we did when we first did this rectangle. We'll do the same thing with that head of that zipper when we get to it when we get past where I already sewed. All right, so now we have that zipper attached. And what you're going to do next is we're going to flip this over on itself. And now we have the pocket kind of right side facing up. What you can do is you're just going to fold it in half. You don't have to do this, but you can put a little bit of a crease in there just to help your fabric stay or simply putting pins will do just a fine job as well. And what we're going to do next then is we're going to sew around the perimeter of the raw edges. So we will start here. We will do a fourth inch or so seam allowance. You could do 
up to about just under an inch um, if you want to. And we're gonna sew up here and then across the top and then down on this side and we will be complete with the pocket. All right, so here I have the bottom edge of my pocket. I'm going to sew this together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck this bandana portion of it out of the way because I don't want that to get caught up in my seam. And I'm gonna do about, I sew my needle off to the left. This is probably about a half of an inch or maybe a little bit more seam allowance. Again, I'm gonna make sure I don't get any of that other material caught up in my seam. And then I get to the corner and I'm going to pivot. And then as I pivot my fabric, I'm going to again tuck that out of the way because I don't want that to get caught up in my seam. And it's out of the way the whole time. Okay, now we're going to do this top edge. Make sure that you go all the way to the ed edge, otherwise you're going to lose things out of that pocket. All right, so now you see we have our fully functioning pocket in our, in my case, my bandana. So now what I would do if I'm making this dog bandana, I would just finish and put my other piece on there and sew around and finish it according to the pattern. Um, but that's a quick and easy way to add a pocket to whatever you're making.